Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to use Thermapen together again. It's been a while, so yeah, I needed to bring it back to my life. The only bad thing is I have one cartridge left, so I have to order more. Anyway, I as well have one Nano. What is Nano really for? I mean, I think I know, but... That is kind of useless, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm going to be using the cartridge which has 36 needles. There is as well more needles, which is 42. That's a little too much for me, honestly. You can choose from 11, 16, 24, 36, 42, nano and nano. Weird. So. The packaging tells you that this is sterile, but because there were some of you losing your mind in my previous video that I didn't soak this in alcohol. Ta-da! We have alcohol here to soak it in alcohol just for those who don't like the word sterile or don't know the meaning of it. So I'm going to soak it in alcohol for you. So going to wash my hands first. So microneedling been part of my life for many, many, many years. I took a little break for a simple reason and that I was lazy. But I will be 40 this year. So I think it's the time to make it, you know, something more, yeah, like really part of my routine again because you know, my dear friends, I will be 40. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to order this, oh, order. I'm going to open this packaging somehow, maybe. How do you open this? There we go. My hands been washed. I'm gonna open it. There you go. The sterile needles. And I'm going to soak them in the alcohol for you guys. It's there, okay? Soaking. I'm also going to wash my face because I have SPF on, eyebrow makeup obviously, and some eyeshadows. So let's wash my face and we can move forward. So I don't have, my dear friends, um, my stronger facial cleanser, which had tea tree oil in it. So this time I actually will put, oh, maybe a little bit of alcohol on my face as well, just to sterile the skin, just so you know, because uh, this cleanser is, you know, more gentle. So I just want to like make it extra clean. Back to the alcohol for those. It went all over. S fully soaked cotton. And I think maybe even some of my makeup brushes. Anyway, I don't overall like to put alcohol on my face, but we're gonna be using this device. So, oof, I hate the smell. I'm gonna <laughs> remove big part of it. <laughs> Just the skin is a little bit more sterile for those who are so concerned, you know? There we go. As well, cleaning the device with the alcohol doing all on the camera for you this time because I didn't know that this information has to be put out there because obviously this is clean, you know? So you just twist it to the cup and I'm going to show you my difference, okay? So this is speed one and I had it on too. Oh my god, this is too long. Can you see how long is it? This is definitely not 
what I want to have inside of my skin. So I go to 0 0.5, I go a little bit more, 0 0.75, okay? This is about it. Still kind of a lot. So some parts of your face will be a little bit more sensitive, like the eyebrow area, your forehead, your nose as well. Um, the less sensitive is, of course, the area which has more fat. So it is what it is. I still have a little bit of microblading left in my eyebrows. So I go a little bit extra on the eyebrows to remove them because it worked for me. Um, my doctor, I asked him about laser removal. He said, just keep doing your microneedling, your retinol, because it's really working and laser can create scars for you on your face. And he refuses to do that. I love him. <laughs> He's just so smart. So anyway, um, so here is 0.75. I'm going to do speed one because I don't think I need any faster. So you guys ask me, how many times I go on the same location. It depends on your skin. It depends how you feel it. It depends really on you, okay? I do it mostly a few more times on the eyebrows, like I mentioned, and here in this area. Everywhere else, I, you really don't have to because this pen goes up and down, okay? The needles go up and down. So if you count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, it goes in between a few times. So it's not like you have to come back and back and back, okay? So let's get started. Let's cry together. So I like to start, okay. Changing my mind, 0 0.05. <laughs> so yeah. I don't like to use the numbing cream as I mentioned many times. As I mentioned many times before, because my dear friends, it breaks me out. So this will be totally pointless for me to do if I wake up the day after with like inflamed skin from the numbing cream, okay? You don't have to put really any pressure on the pen. You just go and go next to each other. You do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you keep going like that. Excuse me, I sneezed, so. <laughs> the first contact is always the most difficult. I as well don't like to use a product because I feel like the needles get a little bit messed up with it because the product dries, right? So this takes a little bit of time. So it's not like I want the product to dry on the needles, which are making holes to my skin. You know what I mean? In certain places, they are dragging the pen on your skin, which supports the dragging of the pen on your skin. So they don't deeply cut you, even they are really cutting you anyway. I'm gonna go a little bit low, guys, to 0 0.25 right now because this is really a lot for me. As well, if you don't use numbing cream, you just really do how you handle it, okay? You don't have to count one, two, three, maybe just one, two, one, two, one, two. So I have a little bit of sun damage here. So I go over it a little extra. So use your common sense with your skin For me, this is really to have the product to penetrate deeper, to fight my pigmentation. And I think even Saluma may go a little bit deeper. Do you see how red I'm getting already? So you don't really have to go that deep with this device. I put it back to 0 0.5 and I go back to the eyebrows, as I mentioned before. It's really just like the, I have to, Put a little bit higher because here is more fat. So 
So it really depends what you guys are working on. I am removing right now the microblading. So yes, I like to go a little bit more intensive here. And if you're curious how this removes the microblading, because it goes deep to your skin, so it creates the collagen and it kind of like pushes the pigment out. That's what I see it, how at least. It's been working, it's been really working very well. It was super dark before on the tails of the eyebrows and now it's like lightly gray, I would say. I should be doing this a little bit more often, but I don't. So anyway, my dear friends, now I'm going down to half again, 0 0.05 and let's do the face, okay? I don't like to go close to my eye area because it hurts, okay? So do as you can. Here it hurts much less than on the forehead because there is more fat in this area of the face. So this is really great to stimulate collagen because it mimics like your skin being hurt, which means your skin will create collagen in more stronger way because it has it's under the feeling that it, it has been hurt, you know, that's how smart our body is. Like let's say when you get cut, right, it heals. So imagine how this works equally the same. But these are multiple micro needles. As well, I'm doing it today because I haven't been on the beach for a week. As well, I'm not planning to go this week to the beach. Again, around the mouth, I can go a little bit more. Ooh. Alcoholing my hands because. I touched something. So the pen died on me, <laughs> believe or not. Also, don't forget your skin is delicate, yes? So don't go too crazy. Just because you see on internet people are bleeding from their face doesn't mean that it's correct to go. When I went to profession clinic, I did not bleed from my face. I had a redness and I had few dots, bloody dots in my forehead. And that was all but I did not bleed and that was professional microneedling. You see how much more the eyebrow is red because I went more intensive there and the same I'm going to do here because I was born with some specific redness right here in the area and it's difficult to get rid of it. Especially when I live on sun it always gets a little bit stronger here so I know microneedling works for it quite well. As well, don't go over active acne, guys. And yes, you can return back to more difficult locations if you like, absolutely. But be smart so you don't like destroy your skin with it, okay? Less is more on the end, so...
fit one. Voila, this is my micro needling. So I went a little bit deeper the second time because um, I barely feel it on my cheeks because I have quite amount of fat, which is very good, right? In this area of my face. So I went to 1.25. Do you see it? Just for this area of my face, my dear friends. So now I like to apply a serum. Why I do this way is because, like I mentioned before, my serum, I don't know what they're using in the clinics, okay? But my serum, my dear friends, I'm gonna sterile my hands with alcohol again, just so you know, I have like this little cushion here soaked in alcohol. This is HA serum, so it's just gonna make the face nicely plumped. It's from Biologic Research, it's the Matricial Visage for structure and volume. This is how it looks. But this serum dries quite fast and this microneedling takes me about 25 minutes to do. So imagine how much serum I will have to put constantly on the skin to have, you know, <laughs> to fulfill the needs of the people who are like, why don't you use serum when you're doing the microneedling? Well, you don't really have to, okay? They do it with the serums because they're dragging, dragging, dragging this thing on their face. That's why they use it with the serum. You see, this is completely dry already. Like, <laughs> I will have to like pump the whole bottle in it. This is just not the kind of serum. But anyway, I don't have to because I am not dragging the pencil, okay? As you can see, I'm getting a little redness, but it's exactly what I wanted to have. It's perfect. So anyway, guys, um, my skin is getting pretty red now. It's quite feeling sore. I'm very happy I didn't use the numbing cream because this is something I can really deal with. It's not that crazy unless I pass like much higher needles. So this is absolutely okay. I will turn off the light so you can see the redness. You may see it better with the light on actually. So it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, my skin is nicely soaked. This is good. Tomorrow I'm gonna use a Saluma to support the healing and the collagen production. So I cannot wait how my face is gonna look with that. After that, I mean, because <laughs> it supports healing of the inflammation. So, and it builds the collagen with it. Perfect, no, isn't it just awesome? Anyway, my dear friends, so this is, I'm going back to microneedling full time. <laughs> Once a month, that's how I'm gonna be doing it. Not more, because I don't think really I need more. Plus we're going to summer, so you have to be very careful. Soaking your face in SPF is a must, otherwise it's pointless to waste your money on skincare, on skincare treatment, Botox, fillers, facials products you know it's pointless unless you you if you don't use spf it's totally pointless to do all of that just screw it you know like who cares because <laughs> you're going against your own packet so anyway guys this is again you know big part of the routine because once you aging we're losing collagen with every year we lose more and more collagen i think it starts at age 30 so microneedling is very very important to bring the pieces we are losing back, <laughs> you know what I mean? But you don't have to go crazy. With skin, our skin is delicate, okay? You don't have to go crazy. As well, for the draggers out there, um, put your needle, okay? Put your needle to the length which you put on your face, okay? Make sure the needles are out and drag it on your skin. I'm not testing it for me, but I'm telling you, just do it, test it like this, how it feels. Is it cutting you? Yes, because <laughs> it's not meant to be used that way, okay? 
Sounds do it. I know. I don't understand. <laughs> not everywhere though, guys. Not everywhere. My microneedling was a stabbing sensation. Their, um, their device was three times the size of my pencil, just so you know. Three times as big. It was a huge device. It was super long, thick, and it had big heads. They just, it was different device than this for home. So I highly do not recommend you to go as intensive as they can go because they are experienced. They study it, you know. <sighs> Think about home treatment as your manicure, right? What you do, oil your nails and put hand cream on. You are not going there and cutting your cuticles, or do you? I mean, some people do, I know. Doesn't mean it's right, because <laughs> it can hurt you. Anyway, my dear friends, so this is it. This is the microneedling. I think it's looking pretty good. The redness is going a little bit of down. It's still red on the cheeks, but it's okay. So this is me with microneedling session for 2024. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so we can see each other here next Friday. Hope you appreciate my bun, my headband. <laughs> I'm bringing the 90s back. And yes, I see you next week, guys. So thank you for watching and I see you next week. Bye.